Hi there. So I treated myself to a display tablet uh, by Huon. It's the canvas. And I had a Wacom tablet that wasn't a display um, version. And I just couldn't, I seemed to have some sort of dyslexia with the mind and movement. Um, and I'm not making fun of that at all. I, I think <laughs> it is a thing with movement. I know um, if someone's, especially if someone's mirroring something, I kind of get confused. So anyways, I thought this would work much, much better than just a plain old tablet. And since I downgraded to a um, MacBook only, I used to have a 21 inch or 27 inch um, iMac for doing editing. Um, I now have a 13.3 uh, MacBook Air. So I kind of miss the real estate of <coughs> being able to edit on a much bigger screen. So this is what's inside. <coughs> You have a little um, donut that is a pen holder. And this is the pen. So it just works like other, not that way, this way. So it can sit like that. And it can also sit across like that. And then inside are some more nibs for the pen when they get worn out. And then we have the cords to hook it up to the computer. HDMI, USB. And inside this, We have a fake CD like there used to be. Um, and that's just for registration. A little booklet. And then the little cleaner towel as well. And that's just a get started little guide for it. You kind of have to go online for any more detail. And it comes with a little glove. So if you rest your, your hand on the tablet, you're not um, getting kind of sweaty prints on the tablet. And this is me struggling <laughs> with putting it on. So that's how it works. And then in here is the power cord. Pretty straightforward. So just tidy this up. I got this on Amazon. It was a really good price, especially in comparison with um, Wacom. Um, display tablets and it's just I may be doing some more editing um, in the fall so I kind of wanted um, that but I also want to explore more digital art I've been using my iPad with um, Procreate but there are other um, desktop versions of um, paint and drawing software that I want to explore that's just the protective film it comes off I always feel nervous about taking that off. I just feel, okay, well, I bought it now. That's not true, but... And then I don't want to get it scratched at all. And it just has the function buttons on the, the side. And that's where you plug it in. And it's not very big. It's pretty light. It doesn't have a built-in stand or anything, but you'll see what I do for that. So here's the setup. 
There's the driver right there. It's in applications right here. Do, do, do right there. And that's where you can customize things. Okay, it's not on right now. That's why it's balking at that. Um, and so let's turn it on just right up here. Now, I was a bit of a dummy yesterday. I thought it was an either or, you either use a USB or an HDMI cable, but actually both have to be put in at the same time. Because Macs are Macs, there's only um, these lightning um, ports, so you have to buy an extra one. Um, so that's a bit of a hassle, but whatever. I've got used to it. The two, um, you'll get the cord with the plug, and the plug will be for your region. And then you just push it into this guy and you'll see the arrows line up so that will hook up these cables to the plug and as you see my screen is reflected right there so there are some things that you have to do when you're starting up so you can you know, change the way the screen is shown, um, the way the pen, um, your pressure, how you use it. So all that can be done and customized. Uh, these keys on the side can be customized. This one um, is great. It zooms in and out, especially when you're um, working in Photoshop. I've already run that. Let's just see. Start Photoshop. And open. I don't really have anything. Here's my friend's dog. <laughs> I'll open that. There he is. There's Enzo. <clears throat> so all the things here you can as I said, zoom really close in, zoom really far out. When you're working, it's really nice being able to, I, I have this visual thing, like I, I kind of knew this when I would do, um, you know, uh, fitness classes. I have this thing about seeing someone, a mere version of me. And the same as with my Wacom tablet that wasn't a screen. I just couldn't get used to working down here on something that's up there. So it was, um, yeah, I didn't, I ended up not using it very often. So I think I will use this a lot more often. Um, this stand is a um, painting stand. So turn around here goes different levels uh there is a stand that you can buy for this it was 70 canadian but i already had this for painting so why not it's perfect um yeah so that's about it i think i will get a lot of use out of this there's me you don't get to see very often let's see enzo better yeah so I will give an update and show you how it's working, but so far so good. Oh, the other thing that you will have to, if you're on a Mac, you'll have to go into system preferences and display, and you'll have to um, change your display. They, they show you um, what you should put in. So there's main display, but then there's also, oh, it's not showing up there first. Oh, there it is. So you do mirror for built-in retina display. So it's right there, pops up. So that's all good. That's about it. 
it was pretty easy once I <laughs> figured out I screwed that part up. Those both have to be in to the computer and um, obviously plugged in and then I can just turn it off and there we go.